Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and I'm standing outside my newest rental property, number 25. Uh, this is a commercial property, as you can see. And sorry, it's a bit windy today in Colorado. We're on a very busy three-way, one-lane street, which is always good for commercial. Um, this whole road, this whole stretch is all commercial, and I think I got a pretty good deal on it. We just bought it for 130,000, and actually, this one right next to it is for sale for 230,000. So that's usually a good sign. Although this one is more expensive, or sorry, bigger. I think it's 2,300 square feet, and this one is 1,600 square feet. So this property has been on the MLS, the multiple listing service, for a year. For sale, just sitting there, and I think it's a great deal. Nikki, my project manager, thinks it's a great deal, but it was just sitting there, no one doing anything, um, for almost a year. When they first listed it, it was listed at 172, I think, in October, and they just they lowered the price in April to 159.9. Um, we made an offer for 110. I just felt a bunch of cold air on me, so I don't know what that is, but <laughs> some kind of vent. Um, and they came back and countered at 130. I thought, that's a great deal. We'll buy it. As you can see, it needs some a little bit of work on the roof. The roof is leaking. So it either needs the roof replaced or actually more slope added to it. So that'll be some cost. But in general, it's not in horrible shape. This isn't, um, you know, it's probably was a pawn store before. Could be some kind of store like that. It will probably rent anywhere from 1200 to 1500 and I show all my rental properties on my blog on investformore.com backslash rentals and rental property number 20 which I bought just about two years ago I bought that in Greeley Colorado as well for 110,000 the owner leased that back from me for $1,500 a month and we just refinanced that. It appraised for 250000 So that's why I love commercial real estate. Because it's based on income, the value. So that property was for sale for 110000 on the MLS as well. But they didn't know if the owner was going to lease back or not. Or for how much money. So it was on there and I made an offer really fast on that one. But I, I knew it was a good deal, but that's one of the first commercial properties I bought. I had no idea how good of a deal it would be. And then based on the cap, cap rate, if we get $1,500 a month, then you know that's what, $18,000 a year. And cap rate around here, stuff is selling for 6% cap rate. But to be conservative, I value it as 7% cap rate. And I have an article on my site as well. Just search invest for more in cap rate that explains how cap rate works and we even have a calculator. And um, based on the cap rate, that made that property worth 250000 So for this property as well, if we rent it for $1,500 a month, it's probably going to be worth right around 250000 as well. See? Actually a decent furnace. I think I looked at that before, but it's always kind of a surprise going back through these. So we've done that not only with some of the smaller commercial properties, but we're also in the process of doing that with my big commercial property that I bought a year and a half ago, the 68,000 square foot strip mall where I started my brokerage. Um, we released some space where my brokerage is and as well as the dance studio and all those videos are on YouTube as well. But that property we bought for two point. 1 million and by adding leases and because we got a really good deal based on cap rate I think it's worth close to 4 million now and so we're actually in the process of refinancing that one as well and what we can do is we can refinance them get a new loan for 75% of the value take all the money out that we spent on these properties and usually more after that as well use that to keep buying more and more and more so that's the plan so as you can see this property still has a whole lot of stuff in it and i am the owner of the property however 
supposedly this weekend the sellers have a guy coming through who's going to come get all this stuff, clean it out. So we'll see if that happens. He's a guy who um, sells stuff kind of secondhand thrift shop. A lot of times we'll ask people to do that and they come through and take the good stuff and leave the rest. So we'll see uh, how that works out if all this stuff is gone. If I had to guess, I'd say I get left with quite a bit of it. But um, we can easily get rid of it. We'll see what happens. All right, so that's the property. It, it's pretty big. I love having this back warehouse space. It has heat. Um, you have office space, plus you have retail, plus you have a bathroom. It was actually much nicer and much more usable than I thought it was before I even saw it. Well, let's see if it, the cool doorbell goes off. Yep. <laughs> So it does have a back area. Oh, if I can open it. There we go. So it has just a little bit of parking back here, just as wide as the building. And you can see up there a little bit of the roof that will need some work. And then that's Ace Hardware right over there. I actually had a flip. It was about a block that way, right behind that church um, that we did last year. And apartments. So, it's not an A-class commercial property. It's not the most amazing, awesomest location ever. But there's always that trade-off. Hey, if you want to buy A-class, so I don't know if I should be like standing for this. <laughs> I am standing, but. Not talking during the national anthem. Um, that's going off again. Okay, so sure, you can buy A class commercial property in amazing locations with amazing tenants, but you're going to pay through the roof for them and, you know, make very little money. Or you can buy some of these properties, need a little work, are vacant, not in prime locations, get a much better deal. You can still get good tenants in here make much more money. All right, so that is the property. I will not show my kids that because they will make me take it home. Um, we'll kind of work on cleaning it up a little, probably get a for lease sign on it, see what happens. We've got a lot of stuff going on with 17 flips now. We have sold a couple the last couple of weeks. I have some more under contract, but uh, we are short on contractors, so we haven't been able to get things done as quick as possible. But hopefully, We'll get this rented eventually, then get it refinanced, get our money back out, keep doing it over and over again. We also have another rental property under contract to close right at the start of the year. And that's a very interesting one. Three houses and a commercial property. So mixed use, so I, I like those properties. I think they're cool. The banks hate them. They don't like financing them. You can still finance them, but it's much harder when they're mixed use instead of straight commercial or straight residential. All right, so we always appreciate the comments. Let us know what you think of this one. Any suggestions, the thumbs up we love. And be sure to check out Invest For More. Like I said, list all our rental properties, all our flips going on, and have a ton more resources and articles on investing. Also have a free book if you guys want that, just right there on the main page. So thanks again. We'll be back with more videos soon.